Um, our next speaker will be Kira and Sadik for Art and Feminism West African Indigenous Language Program. Let's give them a round of applause, please. So lovely. Welcome, Kira. Uh, so good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Uh, this is Kira speaking. Um, I am an East Asian appearing woman. I have short, dark hair. I'm wearing a K95 mask and um, I have glasses. I have um, the distinct honor and privilege of being the executive director of Art and Feminism. Ooh, how does this work, Asana? This, this one? Nope, that's not my slides. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everyone. How's it going? What's well, a conference without some tech difficulties, you know? Hey, it's fine. I'm chilling. Sure. Sorry for technical difficulties, Kira and audience. And we're trying to resolve it with the AV folks. This is it. Hey, thanks, y'all. Hey. <laughs> So I was also, for access, um, I'm going to remove my mask right now. Uh, so on the screen right now, there's a slide that has a screenshot from the artandfeminism.com website that has a, a bunch of different events, and it says Art and Feminism West African Indigenous Language Program. This slide uh, has um, the Art and Feminism Abbreviated Brave Friendly Space Agreement. And so we start all of our art and feminism events with this. Uh, the goal of this session is to create an encouraging space for collective learning. This requires intentional behavior wherein participants are conscious of and accountable for the effect of their statements and actions on others. We respect our experiences and the experience of others and recognize we can't do this work without one another. We agree to hold each other accountable to foster a brave and friendly space. So we have 12 minutes, so I'm gonna to try to be as brief as possible. I know a lot of you are already familiar with art and feminism, so thank you for already being community with us. Um, and if you're not, uh, allow us to please introduce ourselves very briefly. Um, this is a slide that has the art and feminism uh, mission and vision statement. It also has our, one of our logos on it, on a blue, black, blue background. So we realigned our mission and vision in part of strategic planning in 2020, 
2020 and 2021. And so I'm just gonna read this to you. Art and Feminism builds a community of activists that is committed to closing information gaps related to gender, feminism, and the arts, beginning with Wikipedia. Art and Feminism envisions an internet that reflects diverse global histories of art making, where communities who have often been written out of history feel welcomed and empowered to participate in writing and writing our stories. So I just want to point out something here, and it's related to the main presentation that Sadiq's going to do, about language and words. So we, talk, we think about language and words a lot in our movement, in art and feminism. And you might notice that in our mission and vision, the words marginalized and underrepresented aren't present. And that's very intentional because we recognize that those terms center whiteness. And that's what we're trying to fight up against. And it's not perfect, but this is just something that we're doing intentionally about language. So when we say art and feminism, we don't just mean women, we mean feminism, full stop, which is something that Whose Knowledge told me about yesterday. And something in 2020 that we started is we piloted an indigenous language initiative. And this has evolved into the West African indigenous language community. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't describe this slide. This slide is a blue background. It says West African indigenous languages. It has a picture on the right-hand side of it of Sadiq and uh, at an event in Tamale, Ghana, as part of the satellite event for the Art and Feminism 10-year anniversary which happened in April. So with that, I do want to pass the mic to Sadiq, who is going to tell you more about the West African Indigenous Language Program at Art and Feminism. Thank you so much, Kira. And thank you, everyone, for being here. I'm really privileged to be here. And as Kira mentioned, most of us here knows about art and feminism to be uh, contributing content to bridging the gender gap uh, on Wikipedia. But um, in 2020, we started this program called Art and Feminism West Africa Indigenous Language Program to help uplift smaller language Wikimedia communities. So I will be talking to you about um, what we, we've been doing since 2022 and the language communities that we've been working with. Um, my name is Sadek Shahadu from Tamale, Ghana and I'm the West Africa language coordinator at Art and Feminism. I'm wearing an African print and a glass. Okay, so the goal of the program was to like provide uh, resources for smaller language Wikimedia communities and also to support um, West Africa indigenous language programs that are, you know, that do not get like real support from the main uh, Wikimedia resource team. So we try to provide uh, technical support. We try to you know, help them connect to each other so that they can share and learn from their experiences. And we started uh, with Dagbani, Gruni, Mori, Ghanaian Pigeon, Chap, Wikipedia, and recently we had um, Kusal, Dagari, and some few other languages coming up, uh, which is Chi and the rest. So since 2022, there has been a lot of um, impact since uh, we started the program. And one of the top most um, uh, impact that we have created is the Dagban Wikipedia. We, the Dagban Wikipedia was incubated in 2015 and the project was uh, laid dormant uh, until 2017. And then because of inactivity, we couldn't um, proceed because so many people um, had so many, those who started it were involved in so many other activities, schools and other stuff like that. And in 2020, um, when COVID started, uh, I am a speaker of Dagbani myself. So this slide talks about impact of um, art and feminism and then the background is white. So I speak Dagbani and I was like, um, what if we could just use uh, this COVID period to mobilize uh, online contributors, uh, special language activists to come together to uplift the Dagbani Wikipedia incubator because um, it's been like a uh, very long time since me, a lot of people um, contribute to it. So I started with um, a few students at the University of Education and we basically started by organizing like online activities because there was COVID and by 2021 uh, on July we were approved. So since um, 2021 we have created over 7,468 articles on the Dagwan Wikipedia and if you want to know more about the Dagwan Wikipedia, you can just go to dag.wikipedia.org. 
And then from there, we move to um, Gruner Wikipedia, which is also one of the mutually intelligible languages um, from the northern region of Ghana. So um, by 2023, uh, as of January 27th, the Gruner was also approved. So these were activities uh, that cuts across like campuses and also uh, art and feminism campaigns, which are organized all year round uh, in Tamale and um, uh, Accra and the uh, Upper East region of Ghana. And other languages that we've been working with are the Tiab Wikipedia and then the Ghanaian Pidgin. And I'm also happy to share that the Tiab Wikipedia from Nigeria was also approved recently, uh, last year, and then the Ghanaian Pidgin uh, was also approved um, this year. Now we've added a few more languages, which is the Mori Wikipedia, which is currently being incubated. And Mori is spoken by uh, people of um, the Mori community uh, in both Ghana and Burkina Faso. And it's one of the largest language groups among the Mori Dagban languages. And from Mori, we also have the Kusa language, which is spoken by people. We call them Kusasi in the northern region, which is also like a mutually intelligible language among the Moli Dagban languages. And then the Dagari. Dagari is slightly different from um, Dagbani. So these are the languages that we've been working with since we started this program. And as part of the program, we've been able to support uh, community leads to become like more active contributors and also become organizers of art and feminism campaigns. So some of them contribute content about women in their various language groups and also they improve the biographies of um, feminism related articles on wikipedia in these languages yeah so um if you want to learn more about the art and feminism campaign you can go to artandfeminism.org and then you search uh, west africa language program and i would also like to invite all those who especially those who are currently working on uh, west africa language programs to join us and you know, learn more about how they can be supported through our programs. Um, at this point, if you have any question, please let me know. I don't know if I'm within the time. And you can also reach out to me if you have any concern about our work at sadiq at art and feminism .org. Thank Thank you, Sadiq and Kira. Now we go to the next topic. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. 